What's up, Walker Nuts? All right, Happy New Year. It is January 1st of 2019. I've got part two of our video series chronicling the first pot farmer locker. And uh, this is mostly an unboxing video, so if you don't like unboxing, if you find those boring, skip to part three. I'm going to summarize everything so you can see you know, what it is that we found and how much it was worth. But if you like unboxing videos like I do, this is where the adventure is, this is where the treasure is found. Stay tuned, we're gonna get started. Just pulled this out of that basket right there. Some pennies, looks like it's all pennies. Which, still money. Madden 12, Xbox power cord. This is US Polo Association. These are cheap. Have you come to check out the treasures? Okay. Have you come to be part of the <laughs> no, I'm working. unboxing video? I'm trying to write the, uh, to write the offer now. Do, do, do. All right. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a front to an Xbox. Could that be what it is? Yeah, Xbox 360 hard drive. Huh, okay. Cool. Ooh, that had some reefer in it. Star Wars Knights. Mini dehumidifier. Oh, <laughs> it's a little digital scale. A router. Looks like that's selling on eBay for about seven bucks, so. That one can go to the garage sale. DVD recorder, it says recorder. So. Looks like it sells on eBay used for about 60 bucks. 60 and up. So that's a good. That's a good. Alright. Happy, happy. I saw that and I thought, okay, that looks pretty good. The inside's pretty dirty. I think there's ways to clean these. Nike Bulls hat. I think there's ways to clean these. Really never done that before. Okay, here's a Reebok Texans hat. That one actually looks cleaner and that's pretty nice. Enron Field. Inaugural game. March 30th. New York Mets, I think. I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of concert tickets in here. Oh, nice ashtray. Personal photos. <laughs> this looks like they're from the 80s. Tons of photos. A picture of marijuana plants. <laughs> it's funny. This guy loved his marijuana plants. <laughs> wow, this is a sifting box. Let's go screen there. Marijuana there and shake it up. Finer stuff sifts out to the bottom right there. <laughs> David Carr. <laughs> Jeez. Marijuana books, grow marijuana. Marijuana horticulture, $17 used. This one, I think, $7 or $8 used on Amazon. So those are definitely worth sending in. It's just amazing. I cannot find what these are. I'm gonna have to open one of them. Doesn't see what they are. This company apparently makes devices that talk to other devices. One of the things they might make is a GPS device. So these are all GPS's. Why would a guy who's growing marijuana need this many things? I don't think that's what they're for. Maybe there's some sort of Bluetooth uh, connector that they could set up on each of the plants to tell when it's getting low on water or something and communicate. I don't know. I don't know, but i got to figure that out. Some kind of monitor right here. I mean, it's got 3M stick on. It's heavy. It's all heavy. So this is to be installed only inside a vehicle cabin. GPS antenna must be mounted 
so that no metal is impeding sky view. So this is a GPS antenna. And this is a GPS device. All right, so it looks like this is a GPS device. And being said, I have 20 of them. I think that they were bought for a fleet of vehicles. I seen them on eBay running anywhere from eight bucks to 25 bucks to 60 bucks for um, different mo uh, model number than this. Didn't look any like any of them are selling. I don't think this is a very popular product, but being said, I've got 20 of them. If they were worth 25 bucks each, that's 500 bucks. Hygrometer. I'm pretty sure that measures the moisture in the air. It's about 10:30. I'm starting to feel tired now. Scorpion on the dial. Vapor tech. Is this part of it? Yeah, it looks like that would go there. That's definitely some sort of a bowl here. It's cracked. I don't know. This thing, 50 bucks. I have to clean it up a little bit because the other ones look pretty clean. 50 bucks. That's amazing. So, that's definitely worth listing. This is an Xbox connector. That's good. I found this nice Raiders hat. That's cool. It's white. Doesn't look used. It's clean. So. <laughs> and then I found this. So I have a feeling this is the big money right here. Houston Rockets tags on. Price tag's gone. It's Adidas. Okay, so the price tag the price tag's been ripped off, but it still has the tags Adidas, NBA, right in there. Oh, this is this is hecka nice. What size is this? This is a large. I mean, that I think this is gonna be worth some money. So check that out. All right, I was running out of steam, and then when I found that Rockets jacket, it got me jazzed up. I think that might be a hundred bucks. I looked it up online; I can't find the exact same one, but that's okay. I mean, the ones that I found were close enough, and actually, I don't think they were even as nice looking. They're eighty bucks to one hundred and fifty bucks um, sold. So that's a that was a cool find. I, okay, I was going to say, I don't know what this is, but you know what I think this is? I think this is to make pipes. I think these are parts to make pipes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I think that's to make pipes or bombs or something. A whole bunch of these little rubber gaskets. A bunch of these little bowls. And I'm pretty sure that's what this is. There's a whole box of pipe making material. It's actually really heavy. There's a lot of stuff in there. I think my best bet on that is going to be to list it, I don't know, probably locally on Craigslist and then uh, maybe on eBay. But I don't know. I'll have to look and see what's out there. It's one of those things that I've never run into this stuff before. So I don't really know what to do with it. Oh boy, I think this is more pipe stuff. And it is. Good grief. So these are actually assembled pipes of all sorts. What the heck? Who needs this many pipes? This guy must have had some sort of a business. Dude, there's like 200 pipes in here. What do I do with that? I don't know if I got that in the camera. Check this out. Oh. Right. Honey? 
brand new pipes. Are those worth money? I have no clue, but there's got to be a hundred to two hundred pipes here. Right, you're a pastor slash drug dealer. <laughs> so if there's a hundred or more pipes here and they're even two bucks each, that's two hundred bucks. Yeah. So this thing says glass pipes. Ooh. Ooh it's broken. Oh. So, I mean, these are brand new glass pipes. I mean, this is like, this is seriously like a whole flea market business right here. Like, these actually don't look too bad. These are Adidas. Those actually, I think those look pretty good. These are nasty Converse. Do these sell? I don't know. That belt. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's like the eighties again. Ten socks brand new. Never open. Ooh, okay. Here's maybe something. It's a Sturgis shirt. It has the tags on it still. Brand new. There's another Xbox. Yeah, Xbox cables. Defecation helper. It actually says that on the box. Defecation helper. It's kind of what most people call a laxative. So it's in the box here. It's pretty cool if we got some boots, but down it. letters and stuff. Dan, hey, how are you? I am alright. I just got done writing Ryan. Blah, 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 blah. This is getting boring. Hey, you know I love these cards. Let's see if we can find something. Huh. I mean, but you sure hope someone didn't trade. It could have been a fulfilling life. For her life of drugs. So it seems like maybe his girlfriend went to college and he didn't. And she wrote him. And I saw something in, somewhere else which said like some guy told her she was seductive and that scared her. And how that let her better be on his wall when she gets home. I mean here's an example. Hey honey, when I called you tonight but Todd answered the phone and he said you were already passed out. Damn. It was only 2 a.m. your time, lightweight. We had school today until noon. Then I had seven a seven-hour program. They let me make decorations for prom since I'm on the prom committee. Hey, it was easy work, detailed. Then it was better than that. Better than that library for four hours. It's already 5 a.m. and I have to be ready to leave by noon tomorrow. So blah 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 blah. blah. So basically, I mean, it's like start to piece people's lives together when you go through their lockers it's kind of an intimate thing and um, it's almost always sad it really is all right 7 30 in the morning day two so far uh, pretty good stuff and still some unknowns like how much is that pipe making stuff the uh, piercing stuff how much is all that new merchandise going to sell for can and will you know can i sell those gps units and how much will those go for that's uh that's still to be seen and that's exciting but i'm gonna get through this remaining boxes and bags and uh take a load to the dump oh let me show you my truck real quick there's my truck super cold so i'm not gonna open the door just yet there's a bunch of stuff in the driveway uh starting to look kind of ghetto over here yeah usually i do not leave stuff in the driveway
I don't think the neighbors like that. <laughs> but too bad. I was going to the dump this morning, so um, and people are coming to pick some of the free stuff up. So, anyways, I'm gonna get to it. Never bought three lockers in one day, and uh, it's a lot of work. Got rid of those last buckets and so just took a second to go market it sold because I had tons of people interested and a lot of people coming this morning so I'm not sure what this is this is nice the Nike um, yeah 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 that's nice I think I can sell that I mean on eBay is that Xbox it looks pretty good 60 gigabyte hard drive, I think that's got to help sell it. Some good extension cords. Really good ones. Kodak Easy Ship camera. Houston Texans remote control for Direct TV. I think I just sold a brand new Direct TV remote for 10 bucks or 20 bucks. I'll sell this thing. This is LED lights. Pretty dirty, but it works. Silk ties. Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. This one's thrashed. This one's got tags on it. I'm going Zilga, something I can't pronounce. Th that's in the box. That monitor's here. That's good. 18 inch monitor. It's not very big, but at least it's in the box. It's RCA tuner. I'll have to test that. All right, we're going to go through this real quick here. And you saw some of this in the other video where I go through these boxes. They're large boxes. They're heavy because they're just jam packed of stuff. And lots of good stuff movies, video games, CDs, books, cool stuff. I love lockers. They have stuff like this. Um, this is definitely my speed. But nothing real super exciting until I come across these bobbleheads. And these are Cheech and Chong bobbleheads. Very cool pieces, a little bit older, and they sold quick and for good money. All right, we're going to wrap that video up. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay posted for part three coming up. And this is where I'm going to summarize everything and show you where we came out. Most importantly, what the profit was on this locker. So um, watch that when it comes out. Thanks again for watching this video. Um, as always, I ask you to please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. Also, hit that notification bell if you would, so you'd be notified when part three and future videos come out. You check out this, uh, I'll share this wall with, with you real quick, behind me. This is my father-in-law's office. Very cool, he's got some real treasures in here. All right, so have a wonderful 2019 as we start the year here. As always, good luck to you. God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on the Locker Nuts channel. All right, Grace, want to say hi before we sign off. Hi. Anything else to say? Say the Locker Nuts out there? In YouTube land? Um, hit that bell. And make sure to leave a like. Yeah, and comments. Yeah, and comments. Yeah. See you later, Locker Nuts. <laughs>